本台消息，成立于1905年11月15日的夏威夷四大都会馆，早年全力支持孙中山先生革命活动，以传承中华传统文化、提倡互助合作、谋取会员福利为宗旨，坚持以浓厚的伦常观念为本，在夏威夷侨界及海内外传为佳话。在纪念孙中山先生诞辰一百五十周年之际，我们采访了四大都会馆主席方惠思先生。今天为您播出采访的第二部分。As you can see, we have a portrait of、uh, Generalissimo Sun Yat-sen, and Dr. Sen and Xi Dai Du are very close. We have a very close affinity and a relationship with Dr. Sen. And one reason being is because Dr. Sen was born in the Si and Dai Du district in Choi Hung. And we have such a close relationship that we even supported his revolution. Remember, we believe in freedom too. And you know, when Dr. Sen Yat Sen was fighting for the freedom against the Manchus, it's similar to us as veterans here fighting for the freedoms of the United States. So we believe in Dr. Sen Yat Sen and what he's done and contribute to his cause. But as you can see, this. This is one of the only portraits, I believe, in Honolulu or maybe Hawaii, of Dr. Sun Yat-sen Generalissimo in his uniform that we had, my understanding, painted either in China or Hong Kong and brought over here to be placed in our、um, our hall here. Very prominent. Well, as you can see, we have a very, very、um, um, proud history of our society. You know, beginning in 1905, as as I had mentioned. And if you take a look through our hall, we can see our forefathers, are, who began our society back in 1905, and all the pictures of the directors that it crosses the hall, all the way to、uh, my left, and then also the, all the pr past presidents in the back of the hall to the very present. And again, we you know we have such a proud history with so many activities and events that we try to draw all of our members into, especially the younger generation, because without a younger generation, you know, we would not, you know, basically progressed as much as it has. And getting the younger generation, I'm not talking about first. I'm talking about second, third, fourth generation to be interested not only in the society but their culture. To us, is very important. As you can see, we have a, a very prominent individuals here in Sidai Du Hall. We already saw a portrait of Generalissimo Sun Yat-sen, and that's in the front of our auditorium or our hall. But over here, we have、uh, some calligraphy from another very famous Generalissimo, Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek, and he wrote that calligraphy and gave it to the Sidai Du, and it says basically、uh, friendship, love, working together. In honesty, and we're very proud of these individuals who have graced us and graced this hall, as Si Dai Du. As I said before, Dr. Sen Yat Sen and Si Dai Du Society have much in common, and we have a very close affinity. And one reason being, and the most important reason, is that Dr. Sen Yat Sen was born in the Si Dai District, which is now called Nam Long District of Jiangsan, China, where you know about 70 to 80 percent of the Chinese here、uh, find our roots. And if you take a look at this particular map of the Si and the Dai district, which is now Nan Long, you will see where Dr. Sen Yat Sen was born in Chihong over here, not too far from where I probably said I just visited my roots this this past year,、uh, Jobatao. So you know, I like to say he was my neighbor, <laughs> or at least my ancestors were his neighbor. 夏威夷中文电视台记者，浩南露露报道。